What's going on everyone? This is Blake and in this video I'm going to be breaking down a tool that is one of my go-to softwares that I use within my business for my Facebook organic marketing process. So if you're a Facebook organic marketer and you're looking to attract higher quality clients and fill your friends list and audience with high quality engaged people, stick around to the end and watch this video through because this is going to be a tool that's going to be a game changer for you. With that said, if you're new here, welcome to the channel. If you've been here before, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to cue the intro now and we're going to dive right in. All right, so now that I got my screen shared, we can dive right into things. And I'm going to walk you through setting up this software and basically the power of using this software and how you can use this within your business to free up time and ultimately attract higher quality people. So first and foremost, this is probably one of the most simple Facebook organic tools out there that you can use. And it's something that saves a bunch of time along the way. If you haven't already seen, I did a previous video breaking down two other tools. Number one, a tool that can you can use to basically remove unengaged friends off your profile. So you have just engaged friends within your profile itself which helps you improve your reach, improve the quality of your audience, and ultimately improve the engagement on your content. So if you haven't seen that video already, I'll have that pop up here, but I'll also link it in the description below so you know exactly where that is and you can check it out afterwards. Another tool that I walked through within my Facebook organic marketing stack was my Facebook CRM. That is probably my go-to tool to organize my messenger conversations, close more sales, and have a clear snapshot of who's in my pipeline and who's not in my pipeline. So I will also link that video in the description below for you to check out after. Today, we're gonna to be walking through my third tool within my Facebook organic stack, and that is a tool called Friend or Foe. And this is, like I said, one of the most easy tools to implement and start using right away and reaping the benefits from. And with that said, I'm gonna pull up the tool itself here. It's a Chrome extension. So first and foremost, what you'll need to do is be on Google Chrome when you use this, just like the other two softwares that I showed you. Once you're on Google Chrome and you're on your Facebook account, now you can download this tool and open it up. So I'm gonna pull it up right here. It's this little one up top that shows the F. And you can see here, so it's gonna pull up and it's gonna say, okay, Facebook active, LinkedIn not running. So I'm not using this on my LinkedIn account, but the cool thing about this tool is you can use it on Facebook and on LinkedIn. So that's a benefit for those of you who watch this video that are using both channels or maybe just using LinkedIn and not Facebook. Um, and basically what you can do here is set up up to 10 different message variations. So for those of you using Facebook Organic now, you know that once you open up your profile and open up the settings so anybody can add you as a friend and your profile is public, and you start growing that profile and growing your audience, you're gonna to start to notice a bunch of friend requests start to come in. And I'll even show you how many I have in here now. Go to friends, and you'll see I have all of these friend requests in here. Some of them, people without even a profile picture, you'll get a little bit of everything in here. You'll get some, I'm not gonna say too in depth, but you're gonna get a little, a little bit of everything to say the least in terms of friend requests here. Some of them could be completely fake profiles that aren't even real, that somebody just made um, for spam purposes. So you want to avoid those. You don't wanna come in here and just accept anybody aimlessly. And throughout my time with Facebook Organic, when I was first getting started, I used to come in here manually every single day and go through these people approve them, deny them, send the message, send a message to the ones that I wanted to actually send a message to. And it was a very tedious process that took a lot of my time. So then I came across this tool called friend or foe. And basically what this does is it connects to your Facebook account. And like I just said, we have it pulled up right here. And I'm going to walk you through the settings that I have set up. So you know exactly how to use this and, and kind of the benefits behind it. So you can see here, I have one message in here. Hey there, thanks for your friend request. I'm getting close to my Facebook friends limit, so I wanna make sure that I'm approving requests from real people, not just bots or spammers. Can you shoot me back a real quick DM so I know you're real and I can approve you? So this is going to automatically work through these friend requests that I'm getting from people. And you can see here, I have it set. So it's going to send a message every 15 minutes, or it's going to run the extension every 15 minutes, and it's going to send a maximum number of messages of 17 a day. So this isn't going to run more than 17 times in a day um, just for account purposes because I don't want it to run constantly because I don't want it to throw up any red flags at Facebook or look like it's doing anything that's malpractice. So I have it set to only send out 17 messages a day. 
and it's going to run it every 15 minutes until it hits that 17. And what it's going to do is before it confirms or approves any friends, it's going to automatically send them this message. And from there, if they reply to it, I have the quick and easy ability in there to quickly cl click approve or deny. So if somebody doesn't reply to this first message, I'm definitely not going to approve them because they're not showing me that they're active. And I don't want to accept anybody that isn't an active profile. Cool thing is you can also personalize it with their first name. So I can say, hey, name, thanks for your friend request. I'm getting close to my Facebook friends limit, etc. If I send this, if somebody sends me a friend request and this auto message automatically sends out, if they don't reply to it within two days, it's automatically going to remove this request and clear it out of my request so I don't have a bunch of them clogged up. And it's going to automatically turn them into a follower of my profile. So that's the really cool thing about it. No, I won't be friends with them, but they'll still be exposed to some of my content by being a follower on my profile itself. Because once you make your, your profile public, you can have followers on there. So that's a really nice benefit. You can also have it so it's set to only send out messages during a particular time window. So you see I have this set up to only send between 10 a.m. and basically midnight. Another nice benefit is you can put in multiple different variations. So I'm going to show you a second one here. Hey there, thanks for adding me as a friend. I'm nearing the end of my 5,000 friends, so I want to make sure that I don't accept any bots, spammers, or other stuff like that. Letting them know, hey, this is an automated message, but if you're a real person and want to be friends on Facebook, just drop me a message here and I'll accept you. Oh, and if you're an online marketer and you want to learn more about how you can scale an online business to six figures organically, make sure you join my free Facebook group, The Freedom Family. Just click the link below and I drop this link directly in here. So this is another really great way to start getting group members to join your group. Because at the end of the day, these people that are adding you as a friend, it's not like you're adding them and reaching out and pitching them to join your group. They're coming to you. So you have every right to share, if you wanna share a link to your group, or share a link to a low ticket offer, you could do that within here. Uh, it's gonna drive traffic to that link itself. So I have this set up as my second alternate message. So it basically pans between message one and message two, and it alternates between those two. But again, you can add up to 10 different messages in here if you choose to. If you wanna add in emojis, you can do that, and they have the whole emoji list here. So I'm gonna link this tool down below. It's a really cheap and expensive tool. You can get a free trial with it to test it out if you'd like. Um, feel free to circle, if you create an account, circle back to this video and take a look at how I have my settings set up so you can kind of model that and set it up similar if you choose to. This will be a really easy way for you to get going and get set up with it. Um, but I think just within the first one to two weeks alone of using this tool, it takes about five minutes to set up and it's gonna run automatically in the background 24 seven based on the limits that you set it to. And you can basically set it and forget it and you don't have to worry about coming in, constantly checking your inbound friend requests, having to worry about drumming up conversations and reaching out to people. It does all the hard work for you and you can just reap the benefits of it and make sure that you're only getting engaged friends and prospects onto your profile itself. So that's a wrap for this video. Again, the two other automation tools and my Facebook automation suite I will be linking both those videos below, breaking down my CRM and breaking down my preferred friend remover tool. And again, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel and you want to see more videos on other Facebook organic marketing automation tools that I use like this or other valuable content that I drop around high ticket sales, entrepreneurship and online business growth, be sure to click the subscribe button below so you never miss out on any future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.